Hello and welcome to PDF Butler. Today, we will guide you on how to install PDF Butler and assist you with its setup. First, we'll proceed with the installation of PDF Butler, followed by the setup process, and finally, the registration. Let's start with Step 1, Installation. To access our app page, simply type PDF Butler in the search bar of the App Exchange. Below, you'll find reviews of the application. To install it, click on Get It Now, ensuring that you are logged in with your Salesforce account. Exercise caution if you are working in different environments simultaneously, as this may disrupt the process. In such cases, use a private window to help Salesforce recognize the specific user and environment for installation. I'll choose this account. You can decide whether to install in production or sandbox, I'll opt for the production option. Before proceeding, confirm the installation details. If any required information is missing, click on Edit Profile. Review and accept the terms and conditions. If you wish to receive emails about our new products, select Allow the provider to contact me. Confirm and proceed with the installation. You'll be redirected to Salesforce, where you need to enter your login details. The recommended choice is to install for admins only. Because selecting install for all users grants users unnecessary document editing rights. If you choose the first option, you can later use permission sets to specify which users can edit, set up, and generate documents. Click Install, then confirm that you want to connect to these environments by clicking Yes. For instance, if you later wish to connect only to the European or American environment, you can go to Remote Site Settings and disable all unwanted options. Click Continue. You may encounter a message, click Done, and wait until you receive an email confirming the app installation. Upon receiving the email, confirming that PDF Butler is successfully installed, check the installed packages, and you will see that the app is indeed installed successfully. After completing the installation, searching for PDF Butler will display the app, allowing us to access it. To initiate the setup of PDF Butler, we will follow the Get Started section. Let's begin with the first step, navigating to the Permission Set page and searching for PDF Butler Admin. This permission set is managed, as indicated by the lock icon, preventing edits. The solution is to clone it. Why are we doing this? During app installation, Salesforce automatically removes certain properties within the permission set, necessitating their re-edition. We name the clone set PDF Butler Admin Local and click Save. Next, we assign this permission set to ourselves and any administrators in the environment. In our case, there is only one admin. Revisiting the permission set, we select the cloned one and click on Assign Connected Apps. This app enables configuration, and we must choose the one that aligns with our region. Always select the closest one, for example, choose EU1 for Europe, US1 for the United States, and so on. We add EU1 in our case and click Save. Now, we proceed to Object Settings. Using the search function, Ctrl plus F, we look for data sources. Upon accessing data sources, we observe that Salesforce has assigned all the record types, which is perfect. Moving on to doc configs, we click on Edit, check all the record types, and click Save to enable them. Returning to the Get Started page, we mark Permission Set Updates as done. The same goes for Assign Permission Set. However, for Update the Connected app, it's not fully completed. Clicking on it provides quick access. 
we select the same app added to the permission set and click on Manage. Next, we click on Edit Properties and change Permitted Users to Admin Approved Users are pre-authorized, enabling admins to manage app access. With this step completed, we mark it as done. And the setup process is done. The next step is registration. We need to register our region. Click here for quick access, and you will be directed to the admin tab. Specify your region or the nearest one. Click set region. And then click OK. You are now connected to the correct region. Fortunately, all the necessary data is pre-filled. You only need to add the postal code. Please enter it and click Request Credentials. It takes only a second, and you will receive your new PDF Butler credentials. Ensure to save this information, as you will need it later if you decide to use another product from us, such as Sign Butler or Form Butler, or if you want to use PDF Butler in a different sandbox. This is possible through these credentials. You will also receive an email containing these credentials. Make sure to save the email or mark it with a star. Now, mark registration as done, and the subscription as well. You can proceed to build your first document, but we won't cover that in this video. Instead, let's create a doc config to verify that PDF Butler is set up correctly and functioning. Navigate to the doc config page. Click on New. Select Main Word Document. And click Next. Choose a name and title for the document, then click Save. If you can open PDF Butler and see the configuration, you're all set, and PDF Butler is correctly set up in your environment. Congratulations, now you have PDF Butler functional and you can build your first document.